All right, welcome back. I'm going to continue on. This will be part two of my Jeep Cherokee hard body build for USTE. If you saw the video for the body painting, it didn't turn out quite the way I wanted, but it'll work. So this is the interior that we're going to put into it. Um, this is a cheap interior, about as cheap as you can find anywhere. I think I've found two of them for less than 20 bucks sometimes. Um, this one came with the body. So I do not have the uh, stickers for the gauges and stuff. I might have to order a whole other body just to get those stickers because I'm not seeing them anywhere else. Um, I plan on uh, covering most of this with fabric that I've got that I'll show you here in a minute. i got a couple different fabrics, but we're going to do some painting on it. I painted it this green color just to get it painted. They usually come like black and tan colored. You can kind of see from the underside. Uh, glossy you know on the interior side itself but uh, I think I'm going I painted this silver back here because what I want to do is I'm going to paint it with the moss green that I painted the accents on the truck with I'm going to paint the whole interior with that and then while this moss green is wet I'm going to wipe it over this silver so that it kind of looks like you know some wear marks on the bed itself and then uh you know, this moss green will just cover the whole inside if there's some things like, you know, the armrest that I might want to leave that green color, the moss green to match the accents on the truck or the dash or something. But most of this, like I said, I'm going to plan on doing in some fabric covering. So we'll see how that goes. So I'm going to uh, repaint this whole thing here and then we'll come back and see what the next step is. All right, so I just wanted to show you real quick what you can do with one of these cheap interiors. Um, for me, it's all about what you put into it as far as accessories and, and your paint goes and things like that. You can see we got some stuff in here, magazines. You, know, you can find some of this stuff at Michael's Hobby Shops and things like that. Got some bucket of wood in the back seat there. I didn't do... I didn't do a whole lot of, I just did like pretty much one color interior on this one without too much uh, different painting of the different parts of it. Got some homemade uh, bed rolls. It's hard to see because of the light back there, but look at this one. There you go. Just some felt stuff wrapped up, tied up with twine or hair ties or whatever. Um, this one from the Forerunner. This has got some good accessories inside of it as well. It's got a big hole because of where you got to seat the driver in that. But um, in the back seat, we've got crates and another bedroll back there. I forgot that I got this little 10 2 box at USTE last year. You can see even on the dash of this one, we've got little thing of red man that I picked up out at UST pistols you know uh, CB and the first interior I did I, I did different paints on the inside of this one uh, you know give the steering wheel a little bit of definition um, you know painted the armrest different colors than the seats and all that kind of stuff um, but yeah, you can do a lot of stuff with it. These are a cheap interior. This one, I put cloth on the back seat of it. There you can kind of see it through the window. I put a cloth seat cover on that one. Lots of stuff you can do with it. So keep in mind, you know, as we're going through this video that I'm going to try to make this one of the most detailed uh, interiors that I've done so far we'll see what, what happens with it you can see I put my moss green coat on there I like it a lot better if I'm going to leave anything just this color a satin finish looks good on it I did a little bit of roughing up like I said on the the bed there I'll probably just sand it a little to get some more of that silver come through after it dries but I'm excited for this interior, so uh, stay tuned and we'll keep going. Alright, so we've gotten a little bit of work done on our interior. You can 
can see I did some uh, seat covers here with the camouflage uh, cloth. Did a little dash cover with the felt felt material and a little uh, some carpet or floorboard mat there with it. Still got a couple more pieces of this felt that I want to put on the inside of here, but I have to get some more glue sticks to finish that up. I think as far as on the interior with the cloth, I'm just about done. This came out about as good as I could have hoped for. I think for a first attempt, um, I just took some uh, Gorilla Household glue and, you know, brushed a piece down at a time when I had a, no fabric on there. I brushed the bottom of the seat, put the fabric on, fit it in there, let that dry and go up the back, you know, trim it and fold it around where where I needed to to make it fit. I think it looks all right. It looks better than having nothing in there. I'll still do um, maybe a little bit of paint detail on the inside. I did order another body just so I could get my gauge uh, stickers for this. I couldn't find any anywhere else. And you know, other than actual accessories going in here, that's probably going to be about it on this. So I got to wait a few days to get those stickers in. I also ordered fender flares to put on the chassis. Um, I decided I want to put a headliner inside of the body because if not, you're just going to see all white inside of there when, when the body's on. Um, I'm putting some little strips on all this white here again I gotta get some more glue sticks before I can do that but so far it's looking uh, looking pretty good I'll see if I can put the body in here real quick to show you what it's gonna look like from the outside I had to do a little bit of trimming on this um, but it's, it fits really good I think I need to I'm going to fit this in with Velcro all the way around here, but there's a good gap right there in the side, so I'm going to have to thicken up that gap to get the Velcro to stick in there enough. I might just thicken up that gap with some double-sided, thick double-sided tape or something like that, and then we should be good. But I got everything cut out of fit back like that and this is up front and then if I turn it over it'll look about like this it's probably sitting a little high because it's just resting on my hands but it looks good in there if you look in and see the, the dash cover and the seat covers and all that and we'll have a driver in there of course so so far pretty happy with the way it's coming out we will uh, keep on going, and once I get some glue sticks, we'll be back to finish it up. All right, it's been a few days. I haven't had a whole lot of time to mess with this and was waiting on stuff to come in the mail. Just got back from a uh, Cub Scout camping trip over the weekend, so I didn't have any time to do anything over the weekend, but I got the extra body in the mail. I said I was going to order another body to get the sticker sheet. So I did that and I came in. He like said those little little stickers right there, you know, cheap and easy as it is, makes a big difference on the uh, interior there. I just couldn't find any other dial stickers anywhere else. And uh, so I had to order a whole, a whole new body to get them. But we got that in there. Um, still got to get some glue sticks to continue on with the headliner inside of here. Hopefully going to do that in the next day or so. I got some really cool uh, fish stickers. There's some salt water and fresh water stickers there. That looks good on the back of there. Little camp stickers that I got. That's better. Some camp stickers that I got from USTE last year. 
There's a bunch of different kinds of good looking camping stickers and stuff. I like that bass sticker, it's cool. Put another little one on that guy. But uh, now that this is focused, you can see those stickers a little better. So that's what I got going there. I think I'm going to pull the chassis out, show you what chassis this is going on, and uh, put the new tires on that chassis. Maybe do a test fit for this body and see how it's all going to go together. I also got the fender wells, the wheel wells. I'm going to put those on the truck. That really adds to the scale look. If you're trying to make something look really scale, you definitely want some wheel wells in there so uh, let me put this body out of the way and get the uh, chassis out real quick all right so this is the chassis that we're using you can see i've got this colorado body on it right now i've got these bigger uh, dirt track showdowns on here there's a difference in the tire size there good bit of difference on there Right off the bat, I'm I'm thinking I'm going to have to get some smaller shocks for this. Looks like it's sitting up a little high for what I'm going to want to do, but we'll uh, we'll take this body off, put these tires on here, and uh, see what it looks like from there. All right, so we got the tires swapped out. Tires definitely more scale looking. Dropped it down a little bit. This is the Axial SCX-102 chassis, by the way. Um, 1080 ESC, typical, nothing special about it, but it's a good running truck. It's got some good speed to it, actually, my Tacoma. While it went through everything at USC last year, it was just a dog. It was slow, but it got up and over everything. But those long walks, it was a little bit agonizing. But this one's pretty quick. Um, you know, and does good crawling slow as well, but I'm going to do a test fit for the body here. I've got some magnetic, um, body holders that I'm going to put on here since there's going to not be any way to use body pins. So, uh, we're going to do a test fit real quick and see what this is going to look like. Hi, YouTube. Ryland's out here helping me. We're going to get started on yours next, aren't we? What are we doing for your truck for USTE? Um, a Jurassic Park. Yep, it'll be his first year coming up. We're going to have one for him. He'll join the rest of the Jurassic Park crew out there. All right, so we're going to do a test fit on this. The body, the interior, I should say, is basically going to sit as flush as it can on top of this whole area here the body will sit on top of that Let's see. So this is where our interior is going to sit inside the body if I were to set this on here now it would be about like that so, need a little bit of adjustment, but I actually think those shocks are going to work. I thought it was going to sit way higher. I think that's actually going to look really good right there. As long as we can get our magnetic body post situation worked out. I'm not a big fan of magnetic bodies because they fall off, but I don't really, uh, you know... I hope I'm not going to be doing any driving out at USTE on the trails. It's going to make my body fall off. But I think that's going to sit. That's going to sit all right. Um, still got to get a front bumper for this. But yeah, for now I think that's what we're going to go with. I'm, I'm liking that. That surprised me on the ride height there. So uh, yeah, I got to get some more hot glue. Finish my headliner. Um, put these fender wells in Again, I'll put those in and then do it. It should fit fine the test the, the fender wells don't Scare the body or anything like that and uh, 
we'll see where we're at uh, next time. Hopefully we get this finished up within the next couple of days here. All right, I'm back again. I did decide to order some new shocks for this guy. I got these, uh, just a cheap little internal spring shock from this company here on um, eBay. I, uh, I thought that these shocks that were on here were like 110 millimeters. And so I wanted something smaller. So I got a hundred millimeter and I think they're the same same size but it is what it is they at least uh they look better got a better scale look than the the blue blue shocks and um it's got three different types of springs that come with it a medium hard and a soft they come with the medium in it i think and i went ahead and put the the soft ones in there and so hopefully the weight will will bring this down a little bit and will be a little bit shorter than what it sits right now but I, w I wanted to put the wheel wells on so I wanted to change the shocks first before I do that so I'm going to go ahead and put the shocks on then we're going to come back and do the wheel wells all right, we've gotten a few things done here. We're moving along. I got, uh, haven't done much to the interior. Well, I didn't do anything. Like I said, I think last time I showed you, I got the stickers in there. Um, I just finished up the whole uh, headliner and these, you know, side panels, everything that's going to show on there with the hot glue gun and my felt fabric that came out pretty good. Um, said I was going to change those shocks I changed those out they definitely look nicer it's sitting about the same height I think but uh like I said before hopefully the weight will push down on those I got the fender wells installed um, if you haven't ever installed these they're pretty easy they just screw in onto your frame underneath at certain spots um, I did wind up having to cut this one over here, and I cut way more than I needed to, but it, uh, it's on there. It fits. So I didn't put any oil in these shocks. And I think I'm going to need to. They kind of they kind of stick a little. That side didn't, but they stick a little. So I don't have any oil, so I think I'm going to wait till I get to USTE, and I'll, uh, I'll be there a day early, so I'll find somebody and either buy some oil or get a little bit of oil from somebody put in there i think all we're ready for now is um i gotta get some velcro so i'll put velcro all around all the edges on this uh interior and across the hood we'll cut the hood back to where we're not hitting these notches right here probably so that we can set the velcro flush um, if I got to grind any of this off, I will, but hopefully not. All right, so we're going to be sitting about like this. I've got a few spots on those wheel wells that I've got to trim off that you can see back on this side. That's going to be sticking out. I trimmed the other one a little bit. Probably still needs to be trimmed back a little more, but trim, trim that stuff back so that it can sit nice. Trim a little bit out in the front. You got just a tiny bit sticking out here but they're also sitting at the same same level as my uh bumper bar there and they haven't found a bumper that's probably something i'll buy friday on you at ust try to find a bumper but the interior i think looks pretty good from the outside i gotta clean that window clean all these windows really see if you can be able to see in there to where you can see the fabric that I put up you don't see a lot of white and once the body's sitting once the interior is sitting the way it's supposed to you won't see that white that's coming through over there but uh, yeah I think it looks looks good better than seeing all that white on the inside it only took a few minutes to do once I got the glue gun so uh, that's where we're at. Next step will be mounting that interior and figuring out how we're going to be mounting the body. And then I'll be done with this part of the video. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've about come to the end of this build. I've got the interior put in. You can see I put on uh, some door handles, the mirrors. I'm going to still put on the um, running board sliders down here. I ordered windshield wipers because I don't have any of those. So I'm going to show you how I got the interior seated in here. You can see my ride height is good, but this body has to be scooted back a little bit to about right about like that will be good. I don't have the body mounted. I'm going to try that in just a second, but I wanted to show you what we did for getting our interior mounted. All right. So I mentioned before that I had those big gaps I was going to have to fill in. I did fill those in with some um, pieces of foam that I had. I just hot glued them to the body. We have the double-sided uh, Velcro stuck to the body and stuck to the interior. Everything is in there really snug just the way that I want it. So now the only thing left to do is to mount the body. So I said I was going to uh, try to use magnets on the body posts but i think what i'm actually going to do is put some of that velcro on each one of these fenders i think the gen 8 axe has a similar velcro body setup where the velcro is on the fenders but i'm going to do that and um, see if that works so let's give that a shot real quick all right so we've got all our velcro strips on I went ahead and put the prickly side on the fender itself. That way, if I got to wash the chassis off or anything, uh, you know, that stuff will dry out a little bit better than the soft part. So my idea is, you know, I'll peel off the sticky part. As long as all of the surfaces that need to be touching are touching the fenders, which they should be on, on uh, each set of fenders, then it, it should stick. So let's uh, I'll peel the tape off and we'll see if this sticks on the way I think it's going to. Also using the Velcro, I think it'll be uh, it'll give you more adjustability if I were to try to glue magnets and just stick it down in the same fashion that I'm going to put this uh, interior on now. Once it's stuck, you'd have to pull them all off and, and redo it. So if I stick this on one time and it's not right, I should have some adjustability. Peel it back off. You know the velcro will be stuck to the interior already and i just readjust it so let's see how it's going to work all right sticky tape is off moment of truth i'm not sure up on these fenders. You know what? The hood's actually not touching. Stick it up there. Feels like it's stuck on. See if the Velcro stays because I've got to adjust. Well, not on both sides, it did not. Let's try that again. I think it could be lined up a little met a little better here and there, but I'm not going to keep uh, not going to keep going on with it. This time, this video has been long enough. Um, definitely got to put those that oil in those shocks, but uh, I'll, I'll mess with the Velcro, see if I can get it 
worked out uh, a little bit better but for now it's all right i guess uh, we got got some weird things going on some adjustment to do but uh, I'm going to wrap up this video now. Um, there will be a much shorter part three that I'm going to do where I'll have it all completely finished. I'll have my lights put in, um, everything like that. Uh, thanks again to you guys if you stuck around again watching this long video. Hope you liked it. Please leave any uh, comments for me down below. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. Um, about 15 subs away from 500 so it'd be cool if you guys could help me get up to that 500 before USTE. um so i'm going to wrap it up that's going to do it for now thanks again um and we'll see you on part three here shortly